Hey guys, this is Soup Metal 983 and I'm Dean Fuckwire. We're here just to do a little vlog for you, um, just on certain events that have happened today um, in the past 24 hours or so. Um, at 1am local UK time, um, the rock and metal world was left in sheer shock after the news broke out that the one and only let me kill mister from motorhead had sadly passed away age 70. wow where where do you where do we begin the rock and metal world has lost a true one-of-a-kind legend Lemmy shaped the face of hard rock and metal for generations and 23 albums later uh, still rocking his heart out, doing what he loves. I mean, how can you not admire that? You know what I mean? It's, it's personally my dream and stuff. And also, I would like to say it was... A huge honour and pleasure to have seen him back in 2013, wasn't it? 2013 is when we saw him at the City Hall for the uh, the World Is Yours tour. Yeah, in case you didn't know, the World Is uh, sorry, uh, the City Hall is in Newcastle. In case you didn't know, because we're we're from Sunderland ourselves, so just in case you didn't know. Um, but that was that was a hell of a, a show, wasn't it? It was Diaries of a Hero. Um, Blew our minds, they were phenomenal. Anthrax. Lit the roof. Yeah, and then Motorhead's just... Phenomenal. Just, just bearing witness to that. That legendary man on stage, rocking away on his Rickenbacker. And with Mickey D and... Um, Phil Campbell. Phil Campbell. Was just a, a huge honour. Yeah, I'd have to say it was me. definitely a huge honour and definitely a gig that I'm always going to look back on and say yes that was some fun times yeah, I mean I remember us two um, um, we, were we, we were enjoying the life of it, out of it but then when uh, Ace of Spears came on we just turned that we place we were singing our heads off like yeah, that yeah, turned it into a pretty much a little party um, a seated party well, I might as well point out yeah. <laughs> just rows of seats and it was just like a sideways mosh pit each way it was, it was weird as hell but <laughs> but oh it was it was great and 23 albums of Motorhead always rocking out um, giving it his all and then Boxing Day I think it was he found found out he had cancer which obviously isn't a, a thing you can take lightly. And then in the early hours of this morning, sorry, morning, it was announced that he'd died age 70, which he's lived a full life, that's all I can say. And you've got to admire him for, for that whole yeah. thing, you know. Um, I myself um, can't claim to be the biggest of Motorhead fans uh, but I do enjoy a lot of their stuff. I mean, I love The World Is Yours and um, Inferno, amongst other albums. But um, our Triple D here, um, he's a massive fan. He got got in the, when was it, 2000? We were working this out, like 2010, 2011 2010, um, because of one song <clears throat> that was actually um, that I listen to quite frequently, which is... Um, Triple H's theme, the game, and then obviously enough progressed through there. I actually got the the best of Motorhead, and then all of a sudden wasn't decided. Wasn't it? Is the the first album you got? I'm sure it was. I think it was his. Uh, it was Spades. Ace of Spades, and then it was something like the world is yours, and then you started to backtrack through yeah. the back catalogue and yeah. open your eyes to mm -hmm. to basically a new the the rest of Motorhead's Motorhead. legendary mm -hmm. discography and. Like I, as I said, I've listened to only a couple of albums, but it's still, still great to hear his voice and know that his, his voice and memory and 
legendary status is going to go on for generations. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell my grandkids and kids about M Motorhead, the legendary Motorhead, and the same goes, the same goes, doesn't it? The, yeah. That legends never die. and Legends never do die. That's all I can say for Lemmy. He was a true legend, and wow. Yeah, I think... Well, is there anything else you'd like to say? Well, obviously enough, like as you've said, like it was a great honour to like see in the legendary band live. I mean, like that was my first ever gig that I ever saw, mm -hmm. and I couldn't have seen any band better than Motorhead. Like mm -hmm. seeing them live was like a true honour. And a dream come true for you as well. I mean, it was actually because I was a huge fan of Motorhead. And I wanted to go and see them live, and I thought, like, why not bring Super Night Night, Night 3 along with me? I'm pretty sure to I suggested them. it, didn't I? I was like, oh, yeah, I'm always coming to Newcastle, and then I was like, Triple yeah. D, yeah. they've announced Newcastle lead. Are we going? Who to play with? Anthrax. Yay! Yeah. It was it was like that, and we in, we bought tickets, and it was a great night, and um, the life of Lemmy will always live on, and definitely something mm. that's going to go on for generations so yeah um i'd like to send condolences to obviously the band um, mickey day and phil campbell and all the other former members of the band all their efforts and, um, and i would like to send my condolences to the family and friends of let me kill mr and including to the wwe as well like Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, Vince McMahon, because this must have been a, quite a shock to them. Like, yeah, working with Lemmy it. on um, mm -hmm. Evolution, Saint June, and the Triple, few H Triple H's. Been the game and the King of Kings. Exactly. But, yeah, but your legend lives on, brother. Mm -hmm. We're always thinking about you. So, from yourself and Triple D. Metal horns all the way. Hope you jam. I just like to point out. I hope you're jamming away with Dio up there, just rocking the fuck out of that bass uh, with Dio and stuff. I think that'll be an awesome spectacle. But see you on the other side, brother. And from myself, Super Metal Nine Eighty Three and Dave Four Four Eight. We'll see you very soon. Later.